Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Vinyl Den, your channel for record collecting by record collectors. I'm Nick. Today, I'm talking about some great albums that are going to be released over the next couple of months. There's a bunch of links down below. You got links for the Vinyl Den Facebook group, for the merch page, for the Spotify and Apple Music playlist that I put together every week, and the Patreon page. So make sure to check all that out. Like always, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me all a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I release new episodes. So every week I do a new release video, and I focus on just the new releases for that given week. But, you know, over the next couple of months, like, I guess I'm looking through all the way to, to the end of August with this video here. There's a bunch of great albums I'm looking forward to. There's some big releases, there's some expanded releases, there's some stuff that I think is kind of flown under the radar that I'm really looking forward to. I'm only going to talk about, you know, maybe 12, maybe 14 albums in this video. But there's easily probably 40 plus albums I could have gone over. I'll put links down below in the comment section if you want to check all them out. The first two releases are coming out in just a couple of weeks, June 28th. One of them I already have on pre-order. The first one is the new album from Nathaniel Ratliff and the Night Sweats, South of Here. It's their fourth studio album. It's going to run you around 24 bucks online. This is the follow-up to 2021's The Future, which, to be completely honest, I thought was kind of a step back for the band. I wasn't a huge fan of the music on there. If you aren't familiar with Nathaniel Ratliff and Night Sweats, they are a rock band with this really kind of interesting, like, fusion of, like, uh, blues. Uh, there's some soul in there. Like I said, really cool stuff. I love their first couple of albums. Like I said, The Future, I wasn't a huge fan of. They've already released, I think, three singles off the new album. I've only listened to, I think, Heartless, I think, was the, the one track. I think was the name of it that I listened to. And I really liked it, so I'm looking forward to the new album. I'll stream it before, uh, before I decide to, to grab a copy of it. And then you've also got the reissue of Blues Traveler 4 coming out. Released in 1994, it was a four studio album, two LP release. It's going to be on blue vinyl and also purple vinyl. The blue vinyl, uh, the the version that's on blue vinyl, I think is the is the 180 gram version. Blue, the blue's on 180 gram. The purple version, I think, is on 140 gram. The blue version already sold out. The purple one is still available if if you go online. Like I said, I'll put links down below in the comment section. This is an album I've been waiting years for this thing to, to get reissued. I almost bought her, uh, I think it was like, the last time I was pressed, I think it was like 2016. Uh, one of my local record stores had a copy of it a couple of years ago. It was like 300 or 350 bucks, which is just way too much. It's, I've never paid that much for a record. I don't think I will ever pay that much for a record. I've been waiting for this one to get officially reissued. I did buy a bootleg of it, uh, I think it was last year when I grabbed a copy. And even that wasn't cheap. The unofficial pressing was, I think, 60 or 65 bucks. But I, like I said, I love this album. This is the only Blues Traveler album I think I'll ever own. It's the only one I really want to own. And, uh, you know, up until now, I haven't had uh, a chance to grab a copy of it. July 12th is going to be a huge week. I think there's five albums total on my list. The first two I've already got on pre-order. Honestly, I might get some laughs out of the out of the first one, though. But uh, the first one was Crazy Town, The Gift of Game, released back in 1999. It was their debut studio album. It's going to run you know, around 34 bucks online. There's two different versions of this going to be available. There's a Red Devil Velvet, which is purple. Why don't I just call it purple? And then there's a Yellow Butterfly version. I think the Yellow version looks better than the, the purple version. So I did pre-order the Yellow one. I know this is not a great album. You know, it's very, it, go back and listen to this album. It sounds like 1999 on an album. But, uh, you know, Butterfly was a huge track. Uh, Butterfly helped push this album all the way up to number nine on the Billboard 200. You know, I do have it on CD. You know, I think for nostalgia reasons, I decided to, to pre-order a copy of it. It's never been available on vinyl before. I know it's been uh, bootlegged. Or, or there's been a bunch of unofficial pressings over the last several years. Um, you know, I've almost bought one a couple of times, but I decided to hold off. And uh, I'll grab a, a copy of it when it's released in July. So you got that coming out. And then you get the Donna Spend the Night coming out. Released back in 2002. It's their fifth studio album. It's going to be a hot pink vinyl. It's going to run you around 36 bucks online. This is their the Donna's major label debut. Probably their best known album. This is an album I've been waiting for at least the last couple of years to get reissued. This was last reissued in 2000. It was, it was 2020 when it got, uh, got reissued the last time. And I didn't know anything about it. I didn't realize it was even available until long after it had been sold out. My issue with this, and yes, I, already, I did pre-order this yeah, on online. 
But this is just the one album, the one LP release. So when this was released in 2020, I think it was 2020 when it came out. Yeah, 2020 when this got last reissued. It was a two LP expanded edition. The second LP had a bunch of live material on there. I really wish they would reissue that two LP version instead of the one LP version, but I'll take what I can get. At least I'll have a copy of it on vinyl. So also coming out on July 12th is John Lennon Mind Games. This was released back in 1973. It was his fourth studio album. It's a two LP release. It's going to run around 48 bucks online. So this is part of the Ultimate Collector series or Ultimate Collection series that they released over the last couple of years. They've done they've done Imagine, which I've got the expanded edition of Imagine, which sounds really good. And then they also did uh, Plastic Ono Band, which because of the price of it, I decided to hold off on that one. I might do the same with this one also. Like I said, it's going to run around 48 bucks online. So the second LP that comes with this set are all outtakes from the recording sessions. Like I said, the one I've got, I've got the the version of Imagine. A lot of those outtakes are actually really good. I, I love hearing those early versions compared to what was released on the album. For 48 bucks, though, like I said, I'll probably wait and hold off, and uh, maybe I can grab a copy on sale eventually. But uh, some of this was actually released earlier this year for Record Store Day. Uh, you know, it was like a selection of the outtakes that they released for for RSD. A lot of people were really excited about that. And then they are kind of disappointed when they found out that it was going to be released later in the year with everything else that's uh, included in here. But uh, like I said, 48 bucks. I'll, I'll see if I can grab a copy of it somewhere. And then you also got the Rolling Stones Voodoo Lounge coming out. This was released, released back in 1994. It was their 20th studio album. It's going to be on uh, yellow and red vinyl. It's a 2LP release, 30th anniversary. Going to run you around 50 bucks online. So this is the first Rolling Stones album that I remember getting released and, and like listening to right after it was released. And to be completely honest, I was kind of disappointed in the album. I remember like the, the first time I listened to it, I was like, man, this is what all the hype around the Rolling Stones is and this is what we get. You know, it's definitely grown on me over the years. There's some tracks I really enjoy on here. There's definitely some tracks I can kind of do without. But going back and listening to, to Voodoo Lounge, you can still hear elements of those classic albums on Voodoo Lounge. but uh, And I think that's kind of where, in, in my opinion, the Rolling Stones were kind of missing in the 80s is some of that. And, uh, you know, like I said, I don't think it's one of their better albums, but it's uh, it's one, uh, you know, for 50 bucks, same thing with, with that John Lennon release. I'll see if I can grab a copy on, on sale somewhere. And then the last album I've got from July 12th is this expanded edition of For Unlawful Current Knowledge by Van Halen. Released in 1991, it was their ninth studio album. It's going to run you around 100 bucks online. So this is a 2LP, 2CD, 1 Blu-ray edition. The 2LPs is just the album. So and this is the same remaster that was in the box set last year. But in the box set, it was just on 1LP. You're getting on 2LPs with this one. But it's only on three of the four sides. It does have a D-side etching. I know there's a lot of people out there that are upset about this release. And I agree. I, this The 2LP version should have been what was included in the box set last year. I understand it would have been it would have increased the price in the box set, but I'm fine with that. Instead of 100 bucks, charge 125 bucks for it. Just do the 2LP release and then all this extra material you can release in a set later either on its own or with the 2LPs. I think there would have been a better way to to do it. But uh, the CDs contain, you got some alternate mixes on here. There's some outtakes. There's a concert from 1991. I saw on the hype sticker, though, it said, or in the literature for for the release, in the description, it says it was unreleased concert. But then I've read other places that that concert was actually part of another package. So I'm not really sure if that concert has been previously released or not, but I'm sure they're going to have it available on streaming. I'll probably stream all the extras. Like I said, I already have the version that's in the box set. I'm going to hold off on spending the 100 bucks on this one. I'm sure they're going to do the same thing with all the other you know, Van Hagar releases. Uh, you know, like I said, it's really unfortunate. I think they should have done the 2LP release as the one that was in the, uh, the box set last year. So you got that coming out, and then we're going to skip ahead a couple of weeks to July 26th. You've got Ghost right here, right now, which I think is kind of funny because it's on the heels of talking about Van Halen. But uh, I love the, how they did the right here, right now uh, t- title. kind of plays on that uh, the Van Halen album. So this is going to run you around 33 bucks online. This is a new album, a new, a re- new release. This is the soundtrack for their new movie that they're releasing. It's a concert film. It's one I'm looking forward to. I went and saw Ghost last year on this tour. And I was really impressed with it. It's one of the better shows, one of the better concerts I've been to in the last several years. So I'm, uh, you know, I'm not a huge fan of these concert films, but uh, I'm interested to see how they how they do this one. 
Also getting released on July 26th is the reissue of Misfits, Earth AD, Wolf's Blood. This was released back in 1983 as their second studio album. It's going to run you around 33 bucks online. This is part of the RSD Essential series. It's going to be on Purple Swirl Vinyl. It looks really cool. This album was released, I think it was like two months after the Misfits broke up in 1983. But what? So I guess I should backtrack a little bit. So this album, when it was released, it was just nine tracks. And then there's also an expanded edition that's got 12 tracks. It's been available on CD. It's been available on cassette for years. I think it was also a vinyl version that was released with just those 12 tracks. So there, this is just the original nine tracks. So the three tracks you're missing are We Bite, Mommy Can I Go Out and Kill Tonight, and what was the third track? Oh, Die Die My Darling was the was the third track on there, which are three of my favorite tracks from the, from the Misfits. So I wish they would have done, especially for 33 bucks. I think they should have done the full 12 tracks because they could have fit all of them on, uh, on the one LP. But, you know, like I said, I, I'll probably end up grabbing a, a copy of that. This has been reissued a bunch over the years. There should be copies available if you don't want it to, to pay the extra money to have it on the uh, that purple swirl vinyl. So you got that coming out on July 26th. You also got Beastie Boys Ill Communication. This is an expanded edition that's coming out. Released back in 1994, it was our fourth studio album. 30th anniversary uh, release. This is a three LP version. Like I said, this is a, an expanded edition. Going to run you around 125 bucks online. So LP one and two are just the standard album. And then you've also got this uh, the third LP. You've got 12 bonus tracks on there. There's remixes. There's B sides. There's rarities. It also comes with this lenticular cover. Comes in a nice hardbound slipcase. Looks like a great uh, great album. This is one I'm looking forward to to grabbing when it comes out. As, as much as I love Licensed Ill, I think Ill Communication, in my opinion, is a better album. I know there's probably some people out there that are going to hate me for, for saying that. It might not be a very popular opinion, but uh, like I said, I love this album. I do have a standard version of this. I'll probably grab this one when it comes out. And then the last release from July 26th is The Police Synchronicity, released in 1983. It was their fifth and final studio album. This is a 4LP expanded edition. It's going to run you 175 bucks, which I think is a lot, even though, like I said, it is 4LPs. For what you're getting in this, I mean, this is the thing is, is when it comes to like a single album expanded edition, you know, once it gets over like a hundred bucks, I'm typically out on it unless it's an album I absolutely love. I have an original pressing of this album. I'll probably stick to, to that one. But what you're getting in this one, so the, the first LP, all the newly remastered from the original analog tapes, and then the last three LPs in this set are all a collection of B-sides, alternate takes, demos. There's also some live recordings in this one also. It also comes with a 60-page book. It's got new photos in there. New, new. I shouldn't say new. It's got photos in there. It's got new liner notes. You know, it's got some interviews in there. It's all, it all comes in this nice deluxe hard case uh, bound slip case. You know, it looks like a really good release. Like I said, for, for 175 bucks, I'm probably out on that one. Even though, like I said, I don't know. If I listen to I'm sure it's going to be available on streaming. If I end up liking the, what I hear off of streaming, I still might end up grabbing it if I can catch on like a nice 30% off sale somewhere. So you got that one coming on July 26th. And then we're going to skip ahead a couple weeks to August 9th to an album I know a lot of people have been waiting and asking for this one to get reissued. This is the self-titled debut album from Firehouse, released back in 1990. It's on uh, Smoke and Fire vinyl. It's going to run you around 34 bucks online. This thing has been bootlegged to death over the years. And I know people, like every single time I see an unofficial pressing pop up online, it sells pretty quick. And uh, this is an album I know at least a dozen or more people have been asking uh, for this album to, to get reissued. It's all newly remastered. Uh, you know, honestly, it's an album I haven't listened to in probably over 30 years. Probably, yeah, I'd say 30 years is probably around the, the last time I listened to this album. So it's definitely one I need to go back through and check out again. And then moving ahead one week to August 16th, you've got Stray Cats 40 getting reissued. This came out back in 2019. It was their ninth studio album. It's going to be on white vinyl. It's going to run you around 24 bucks online. So Stray Cats, I love their early 80s stuff. You know, to be honest, I didn't listen to a whole lot after that. And then when this album came out, I streamed it a couple of times. And I was really surprised by it. This is an album that still has... You know, that, that early 80s sound that the band had, but it didn't sound overly dated. Uh, it's one I don't have on vinyl for 24 bucks. I'll probably grab a copy of that. And then the last one on my list, I'm going to move ahead to August 30th. This is one that I was 
kind of on the fence about. I probably will grab it. I'm not sure which version of this one I'm going to grab, though. This is Oasis, definitely maybe. It's going to run you around 43 bucks online. This was released back in 1994. It was their debut studio album. This is a 2LP release, but there's also a 4LP release of this one. The 2LP release is going to be on bla- going to be available on black vinyl. There's also a pink vinyl version that's going to be available. And like I said, then there's this big 4LP deluxe edition. So you kind of compare the 4LP deluxe edition of this to that police release, the police release synchronicity is going to run you 175 bucks. The 4LP version of this, uh, definitely maybe, is going to run you 75 bucks online. So that's much more reasonable than the than the 175 bucks for synchronicity. That's why I said I don't know which version of this song I'm going to grab. You know, for an extra you know 30 bucks, I might grab the the 4LP version. But the, so the 4LP version, what's different between the two is the 4LP version, of course, LP1 and 2 is just the standard release that's uh, just the same as the, the 2LP release. And then it's got, you know, two extra LPs of a bunch of unreleased material on here. There's uh, demos on here. There's alternate mixes on here. You know, it's kind of cool. And this is an album that, you know, largely kind of helped kick off the Britpop craze here in the, the U.S. in the middle part of the 90s. You know, it just it is a really fantastic album. I think that uh, Oasis would do better albums after this, but uh, this is why I still like it. Like I said, I don't know which version of this one I'm going to grab. Well, that's all you got for today, guys. Thanks for checking the show out. Like I said, that's just a sliver of the albums that are coming out over the next couple of months. I'm going to put a whole list down below in the comment section. Let me know what albums you want to grab, because I think there's some really cool stuff coming out. Like I said, some, some big reissues, some big expanded editions, some stuff that I think might be kind of flying under the radar, but... Let me know what you're looking forward to grabbing. Like always, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. That's all I got. Until next time, keep on spinning. Peace. Peace.